The trader role and moonshine role in Red Dead Online both play in pretty similar ways. They both count as a business and rely on you to make supplies, wait for them to cook and then sell them. But in this video, we'll identify the real differences between the trader and moonshine roles and then conclude with which of the two roles is better. But just before we do get into all of that though, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. Are you interested in starting your own gaming channel on YouTube but simply don't know where to start? Well, I've got just the thing for you. By using the link in the description and the pinned comment, you can get access to a 50 minute free training session with a YouTube expert. And believe it or not, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about someone who has monetized many YouTube channels, one of them even being this channel right here, which I then took over. Some of the other channels he's monetized includes Joas97, Foot Fanatic, and Open Vision. And of course, he's helped other gamers monetize their own YouTube channels. He's even been helping me monetize my very own YouTube channel from scratch and the first video I uploaded got over 30,000 views in about a month, which is insane. So the man behind all this is Jamie. Jamie is an expert when it comes to helping YouTube channels grow and improving your skills as a content creator. So I really can comfortably say that if you work with Jamie, the quality of your videos will improve drastically and that really just is the case. So if you are interested in starting your own gaming YouTube channel, or even if you're not, then you might as well go to the link in the description. It really is just a gift. You get 50 minutes with a YouTube expert for completely free. So go down into the description or the pinned comment and check it out. So to start things off, let's go over how you start the trader role. Now to start the trader role, you are going to want to head over to your camp, go to the Wilderness Outfitters, and then you're going to want to buy the Butcher Table for 15 gold bars. Now every now and then Rockstar do discount this, so it's worth checking the latest Red Dead Online Newswire to see if there is a discount on this, but you don't actually need to check the Newswire since you'll be able to just see in game. But the normal price for this is 15 gold bars, and once you've then purchased that Butcher Table, you'll get access to the Trader Roll. There will then be upgrades that you can get, such as the Medium Supply Wagon and then the large um, supply wagon but to be able to do that you do have to buy the medium wagon first to then be able to get the large wagon which is a little bit annoying i don't really know why it's designed like that but that's just the way it is so you do have to go through both of them but eventually you will be able to get that large wagon you can also get the hunting wagon if that's something that you want i personally would suggest getting the hunting wagon at some point since if you are currently unable to go over to crips to be able to give him the supplies then you can just slap it in that hunting wagon and then Later down the line, it could even be just the next day or whenever really, since it will save. You can just spawn in your hunting wagon and then the animals will still be there and then you can donate it to Crips. So that is pretty much the trader roll just in about one minute. So now let's go over how you start the moonshine roll. Now to start the moonshine roll, you're going to want to go ahead and buy the moonshine property. First of all, you have a little cutscene that you'll need to go over and watch over at Emerald Ranch. Then once you've done this, you can buy one of the moonshine properties in one of the five locations for 25 gold bars. Now I do have a video going over the whole moonshine roll, the best way to start and everything like that. And a link to that can be found in the description below. But in terms of location, I would suggest going with either the Tall Trees or the Heartlands location, since they do just have sort of the most ideal locations and the best deliveries. So once you've gone and purchased that Moonshine Shack for 25 gold bars, although like I said, it may be discounted, it really depends on the current bonuses. But once you have done that, you'll be able to get straight into the Moonshine roll. Now it's a little bit different in that there will be six story missions that you have to play through. That's the main reason for the sort of the higher price in terms of buying these rolls so there will be some story missions that you will have to play through but they are really good and yeah they are some good fun so there's nothing to worry about there and then you'll be able to get the upgrades you'll be able to upgrade the way the moonshine is produced to be able to get more profits but like I said I do have a video going over all of that and a link to that can be found in the description below so now we have gone over how to start both the trader and moonshine roll let's have a look at the similarities between these roles so both the trader and moonshine roll are businesses they're both roles that's an easy one to see but they are both businesses and that does mean that you can go away and do something whilst these supplies will produce and then you go ahead and sell them so the main idea of the role is producing getting the supplies and then you are able to just have a sale mission so with it being a business they both require time for the supplies to produce they both have sale missions and both have three different upgrade stages the trader role has the small wagon and then the medium wagon and then of course the large wagon and then the moonshine has the two condenser upgrades but with both of these like i mentioned earlier for the trader role you do actually have to buy each upgrade before you can you can't just jump to the best upgrade which is a little bit annoying but that is just the way it is 
And as the last similarity, they both involve combat. Oh, well, they both can involve combat. You can get away with doing a cell mission in both of these without really having any combat at all, but they both do involve combat in some sort of aspect. So, now let's go over the differences. Let's start with the trader roll. Now, the trader roll is 15 gold bars, which is 10 gold bars less than the moonshine roll, which is 25 gold bars. Now, with the trade roll, you go into your camp, and there is no cost to start cooking supplies. It does take a lot more effort than the moonshine roll, where you do have to go out and hunt or try and find a legendary animal, but there is no upfront cost for starting supplies. Now, of course, there are the supply missions which you can pay for, but it is better to just go ahead and do these since you will get some free materials and they don't take very long at all. And like I just mentioned, the trade roll does require the materials to be collected yourself. You can't just go ahead and buy them like you do in the moonshine roll. And like we also just mentioned as well, there is resupply missions during the producing stage where you don't actually get this in the moonshine roll it will just all produce and then you can just go straight away and sell it but with the trade roll it's a little bit different you will have to keep going back to your camp the trade roll does also take around three hours for 100 goods to be fully produced which is about three times the amount it takes with a moonshine sale the sale missions in the trade roll are much longer especially if you're doing a long distance delivery which i do recommend and then you will get 625 dollars for a sale providing you have all of the upgrades not only that, in the trader roll, you get access to the hunting wagon. Whereas with the moonshine roll, the moonshine roll is 25 gold bars. You do get your very own property with the moonshine roll. Now, you could argue with the trader roll you do, but the camp isn't really tied to the trader roll. That's just a general sort of area in the game. Whereas with the moonshine roll, you do get a designated property. There are also story missions with the moonshine roll. There aren't any missions like that with the trader roll. But there is also an upfront cost to start producing moonshine, which you don't get with the trader roll. But this price can be reduced through bootlegger missions. So you could also argue that the moonshine roll does have more content. Like we mentioned earlier, the moonshine roll only takes an hour to produce a full batch, and the sale missions are very short, and you'll earn around $226, providing you have the full upgrade and you aren't doing the maximum sale, which you won't be doing every single time. Something a bit disappointing with the moonshine roll is that there aren't any vehicles within the roll. Considering you're paying 25 gold bars, personally, I would expect there to be a vehicle. But something I do find quite odd is that the cheaper rolls are the ones with the vehicles, but the more expensive rolls, being the naturalist and moonshine, don't have any sort of vehicle involved. But then we do see vehicles within the Bounty Hunter and the Trader roles. So now let's look at which role should be played. I have actually done a video going over a complete Red Dead Online grinding method. And both roles do actually work within this grinding method. And links to that video can be found in the description below. Now in my video notes here, I have actually listed the whole maths working out. And which one gets the most profit and everything like that. But I'm not really going to go through all of that since I think that's pretty pointless. But I will just sort of summarise it. So in terms of one trader sale, in that time you could do three moonshine sales. It is common for a moonshine sale to take under an hour and it is quite common as well for a trader sale to take more than three hours to produce. And like we mentioned earlier, the trader roll, you do actually have to go out and get the supplies yourself, whereas in the moonshine roll, you really don't have to do any of that. But on the other hand, with the moonshine roll, you do have to have an upfront cost to be able to produce the moonshine. But this price can be reduced by completing bootlegger missions, so we'll go with around $40. So in about 3 hours, you are looking at around $613 for the Moonshine roll, compared to $625 for the Trader roll. But this really could vary depending on how long it takes you to hunt, get the supplies for the Trader roll, do the resupply missions with the Trader roll, or if you did bootlegger missions for the Moonshine roll. There is so much that could go into this, to the point where, to be honest, it's pretty identical. But you might be thinking, with what I've just said, you should go with the Trader roll. And to be honest, I don't really think that's the case, and I think you should just play what you enjoy at the end of the day. They're both good money-making methods and like I said I do have a grinding video going over all of it but at the end of the day they are both good money making methods just play the role that you prefer maybe you really enjoy hunting so then go ahead and play with the trader role but maybe you aren't really a fan of the sale mission so maybe you should just go with the moonshine role since it doesn't really involve much once it's fully upgraded then you can go ahead and do some bounty missions in the meantime in my opinion I do prefer the moonshine role just because it is that bit easier but I do really like hunting if I'm in the mood for some hunting then I will go ahead and just stock up the trader supplies but but like I said earlier, just play what you enjoy. So hopefully you now know the differences and similarities between the Trader and Moonshine role and which one you prefer. If you did enjoy this video though, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. And be sure to check out the free 50 minute YouTube training course with the link to that in the description and to the pinned comment. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.